Were you born in the year of the rabbit? If so, here's a drink to celebrate. Today, we'll be doing another drink to celebrate the year of the rabbit. Um, what's up, Doc? Earlier this year, my family and I were in San Antonio and we went to a place called Whiskey Cakes. Now, it's a cool little place. It has excellent food and offers a large selection of whiskeys. Plus, the Whiskey Cakes dessert is to die for. While I was there, I saw a cocktail called Rogue Rabbit on their menu. So of course, I had to try it. It was a good drink, and it was a perfect drink to make on the Year of the Rabbit. So today, let's remake the rabbit-themed cocktail. I plan to make the original version, but I also plan to make a second drink by changing it up a little bit and making it more old-fashioned-ish. Cocktail quiz time! Apro is an Italian bitter aperitif, but what is it made of? In the comments below, leave your favorite rabbit inspired cocktail. And if you have a recipe, leave it there too. This is part of the KISS series Old Fashioned. I also want to remind you that next week on Monday, we release round one of Stag Junior Madness. I am joined by my friends Ryan and AJ from Those Bourbon Guys, Randy from Bourbon Real Talk, and Nathan from Everyday Drinker. Believe me, it is insane. Insane! and you don't want to miss out, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Let's start by remaking the Rogue Rabbit from Whiskey Cakes. Rogue Rabbit Whiskey Cakes ingredients. Two ounces Woodford Reserve bourbon, one ounce carrot juice, one ounce Aperol, one ounce lemon juice, half ounce white pepper simple, carrot for garnish. All right, here we go. In the shaker, we're gonna be adding two ounces of Woodford Reserve. We're gonna be adding one ounce of carrot juice, we're also going to be adding one ounce of fresh lemon juice, one ounce of Aperol, and last but not least, half an ounce of the white pepper simple syrup. I'll leave a link on how to make that below. We're going to add some ice to this. And we're going to shake with a smile. Now we're going to double straight into this cool Look at that beautiful orange color. So we're gonna garnish with these cute little rabbit ears. That was a little bit harder than I thought to do. Rogue Rabbit Old Fashioned Ingredients. Two ounces Woodford Reserve, half ounce Aperol as the bitters, half ounce white pepper carrot simple syrup, quarter ounce lemon juice, two dashes of orange bitters, and a carrot for garnish. Okay, now let's make our second drink. The Rogue Rabbit Old Fashioned. This one's not gonna be shaken, but stirred. We're gonna start in a stir glass. And we're gonna do two ounces of Woodford Reserve. Next, we're gonna add half an ounce of Aperol as the bitters, quarter ounce of freshly squeezed lemon, and two dashes of orange bitters. And last but not least, the carrot white pepper simple syrup. We're gonna be doing a half an ounce of this. We're gonna add some ice into the glass. Now we're going to strain to a glass with one large ice. However, apparently I had some freezer problems, so I don't have any of my large clear ice. So I'm going to have to use one of these small ones that I use for mixing. And you still get a nice pretty color with this. And since it's an old fashioned, you definitely want to, you know, express the carrot juices over the drink. Just joking. Now we're gonna garnish with those rabbit ears. And there you have it. Cocktail quiz time. Aperol is an Italian bitter aperitif, but what is it made of? Answer, Aperol is made of Jensen, rhubarb, and ginchona with other ingredients. So here we have both drinks, the Rogue Rabbit from Whiskey Cakes and the Rogue Rabbit Old Fashioned that I made. Let's go ahead and try both of these drinks. Okay. I did a pretty good job of simulating that drink again. Exactly what it tasted like over there. Not, not so much of the carrot taste up front until the end. The apple is very forward with a hint of the bourbon with a little bit of the white peppercorn at the end. Let's see how I did with this rogue rabbit old fashioned. You could definitely smell the carrot oils on top. I'm just joking, you cat. Okay. Interesting, even though they're made of very similar ingredients, I like this one a lot more. 
You do taste the bourbon, but it's actually not overpowering. I think this one could use a little bit more bourbon in it. So I think next time I make it, I'm gonna add two and a half ounces of the bourbon, or maybe use a little bit of a higher proof bourbon so I can taste that up front. But you do taste it. Then you get the actual taste of the carrot. Carrots? Yes. So this one actually has a carrot flavor to it. So if you like carrots, you're definitely gonna like this one. I think the apple is a little hint at the end there. And tiny, tiny bit of that spiciness from the white peppercorn, but not too much. I really think that this is a be better balanced drink than the actual rogue rabbit from over there. Both still really good. A Little bit sweeter, a little bit less bourbon, a little bit more bourbon, a little bit less sweet, but more carrot. Depending on what you're looking for, I give both a try. See which one you like better. Let me know in the comments below if you do try and which ones you do like better. So I wanna thank you again for joining me down in another old fashioned rabbit hole. If you're liking these type of videos, please hit that like button. It really does help the YouTube algorithm to push my videos. Thanks again and cheers and happy year of the rabbit.